I want to teach you. Many of you say you are Christians. And you are in Christianity. And you say you're following Jesus. You say, now, don't get me wrong. It's not my place to judge you. You may actually really love Jesus. I don't want to judge and say that you are going the wrong direction. But you must have the completion. The Bible said we must be complete in him. Okay? Let's go to the book of Romans chapter number 10. Most of the time we preach this. But I hardly ever hear preachers talking about Acts chapter 2, verse number 38. What happened to that scripture? How can you skip over Acts chapter 2, verse 38, and just go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9, when Acts come before Romans? Look, let's go to Romans chapter 10. This is what preachers preach, which is still true now. It's still true. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Verse 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's true. But look, what we're going to say, let's go back to verse 9. That if thou shalt confess, let me take this hat off. I don't even need that. <laughs> That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Shalt is future tense. It didn't say you shall be saved. Hear, hear the wording. Shall is present tense. Okay? Shout is future tense. Thou shalt be saved. That means you got to go further. When you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus. Look, it said, Thou shalt and shalt believe in thy heart thou, that God hath raised it from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. It didn't say you are saved. You got to keep going. That's just the first step of conversion. You confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart. Now you got to go on and do what it says in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Hello, somebody. And be baptized. If you don't say amen, just say ouch. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, huh? for the emissions of sin, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The reason why many of you are not being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, because you don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. You're still baptizing in the Trinity. Like the Catholics had this. They call themselves Christians, but they're worshiping Mary, the Pope, worship Baphomet. They worship the Antichrist. They have the long stick. On the 33 degree level, they worship Baphomet. These are Masons. They have the long stick with Baphomet on that stick. A picture of Baphomet is devil worship. That is, those are not people who are following Jesus. They're following the Antichrist. Like I said earlier, the word Christian is not in the Bible. We're called the church. We're called the bride of Christ. You're called saints. Nothing wrong with the word Christian. What I'm saying, the word Christian is not in the Bible. That was originated by the Roman Catholic churches. I want to take my wording back while I say it's wrong. Because if the Roman Catholic churches originated the word Christian, but they're not really worshiping the real Jesus. They were worshiping the Antichrist, who is a counterfeit of Jesus Christ then they're not really worshiping the real Jesus. They're worshiping a the gay Jesus. The Jesus that we worship, who's in the Bible, is not gay. He's holy. Being homo, hello somebody, is not, ho is not holy. Let's say it again. Homo is not holy. Jesus said in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, ha, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, ha, he shall receive power. It didn't say after the homo ghost has came upon you. It said after the Holy Ghost has came upon you. They was not filled with a homo ghost on the day of Pentecost. Tell you, man, somebody. Ha, they was filled with the Holy Ghost. In the Roman Catholic churches, they believe in practicing homosexuality. Now the word homosexual is not in the Bible. The word lesbian is not in the Bible. The word faggot is not in the Bible. That's the word the world gave it. The Bible said they're Salamites. Okay? They're called Salamites. 
You never find the word faggot in the Bible or homosexual in the Bible. They're called sodomites according to the words of God. Look at this. Let me give you scripture. First of all, what is a sodomite? A sodomite is a male prostitute who uses sexual immorality as a part of his worship of the service to his deity. A bisexual, a bisexual goes both ways. He can lay with a man and a woman. As a bisexual, it's, a, it's an abomination against God. A homosexual male. Let me give you a scripture. Deuteronomy 23, verse 17. 1 Kings chapter 14, verse 24. 1 Kings chapter 15, verse 12. And 1 Kings chapter 22, verse 46. And 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 7. Talks about sodomites. Sodomites are male prostitutes. In the world, they call faggots. That's the name the world gave it. Faggots, homosexuals. But the word faggot and homosexual and lesbian and dyke and butch is not in the Bible. They're called sodomites. I just gave you the scriptures. Okay? Somebody, uh, one homosexual sodomite said, well, that's, was, that was only for the Old Testament. Well, it was also in the New Testament. We know in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verse 22, talks against men gone with men. It's an abomination. They used to kill them back in the day. Genesis chapter 20, verse 13, talks against it. But it's also in the New Testament. Go to Romans chapter 1, verse 27. It is in the New Testament. The Bible do talks against it. Go to Romans chapter 1, verse 27. Read it. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse, no, verse number 9, talks against the effeminate spirit. Bible says you will not inherit the kingdom of God. In the Roman Catholic churches, they believe in men going with men. Why do you think they are molesting little boys and trying to get young boys into that? Now that spirit has crept now in the apostolic churches. Now you're acting like Simon and Gomorrah in the churches now. You're acting like the Catholics. And you're saying you're Christians. But the word Christianity was originated by the Roman Catholic churches. We are saints. Those of us who have the Holy Ghost, we are called the church, the bride of Christ. Ha! Whoa, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are the bride of Christ. The Bible even talks about the ten virgins. Five was wise and the other five was foolish. I want to be like the wise virgins who had oils in their lamps. Ha. Hallelujah. To enter to the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again. St. John chapter 3, verse 3. Jesus said you must be born again huh, of the water and of the spirit in order to enter to the kingdom of God and to the kingdom of heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He told Nicodemus. He was not talking about reincarnation, like how the Buddhists believe in being reincarnated as a cow, as a cat. You must be born again of the water and of the spirit, being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ huh, for the emissions of sin. Huh, and he shall huh, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Jesus loves you. He want to give you joy that drugs cannot give you. Huh? He want to give you joy that crack cocaine cannot give you. You need the Holy Ghost to give you power. For those of you who are persecuting people who love Jesus, in your area, God will send earthquakes. The wrath of God. You will not be able to stop the wrath of God for those of you who are persecuting people for the name's sake of Jesus. Yes, God is love, but God also is a God of judgment who will one day destroy the wicked. I want to escape the wrath of God. God loves you, and I love you too. Your friend, Preacher Warren. God bless you.